Is this, is this sunlight? Is that, is that what we're doing here today, LA? Good morning, good morning, and we're back and in another location, kind of just a different part of the couch so that this side of my face is at least somewhat lit, <laughs> not just completely in the dark. Cheers, everyone. Good morning. Totally on brand here. Good, good framing, good uh, thumbnail pausing. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It's... Uh, it's 1.17 and I'm barely having coffee, so <laughs> ah, that should tell you what kind of day it's been. Not that it was like super busy, but I woke up kind of late, so I'm just like delayed, but I'm starting to get a headache because I have my brain addicted to caffeine, so I gotta get this sucker down so that I'm not dying for the rest of the day. But today, let me see if I can still read the label here. Oh, here we go. We have an iced black Americano. As you can see, it is not black anymore because I put silk soy creamer in it because why wouldn't I? It's my coffee and I'll put silk soy creamer in it if I want to, and I did, so. Hmm. So cheers, everyone. Oh, it is yet another lazy Sunday up in here. So that means it is cheat day, but First things first, for the last two videos, I have forgotten to mention on St. Patrick's Day, it's my anniversary of uploading these videos. So happy anniversary to me and to us. We did it for a year. And the reason why episode 52 did not fall on like the one year anniversary weekend or like or even around that time or like probably a month off is because of a couple times that I, you know, just wouldn't upload for a week or two and so that's okay. You know, I'm not super like dead set on this being like a thing that I do absolutely no matter what, you know, sometimes life happens so that's okay. But I just wanted to acknowledge it on camera because I haven't yet for whatever reason, I just keep forgetting to mention it. Even after I filmed last week's video, as soon as I stopped, I thought, oh, I didn't even mention this, but I had already, you know, broken everything down and I didn't want to set it back up. So here we are. Happy anniversary to Coffee Chit Chats with Cass. Oh, I have spent some time, you know, trying to think of like, if I should talk about like how I've changed in this year and just like all these sort of things, but I feel like I've kind of addressed everything already, you know, with the notion that I want to make more different videos and stuff like that. So it just would be kind of a broken record at this point to kind of talk about the ways in which I've changed, I guess as a person maybe, but also like this whole thing has changed, you know, it started in that corner of my apartment and now like has been in so many different places and over here. And yeah, you know, a lot can happen in a year. So that definitely, you know, is something that I think about at times like this. However, I did today think it would be nice to, you know, just have a relaxing Sunday and talk about my favorite cheat meals because I have a sort of different life diet style. <laughs> Uh, that's very accessible to where I live and so I think, you know, it's a way to kind of make the way that I eat approachable, I suppose, because I think a lot of times, you know, when people hear you don't eat meat or whatever, it's like, oh my gosh, what do you eat? Well, I will tell you what I eat because, you know, it's truthfully not that different and also, you know, I'm not saying this is how everyone has to eat you do what makes you feel best in your body. You know, I think probably one of the biggest diet trains that I've seen rolling through this past year is the keto diet. It's like, it's, it's a feat, you know, it's definitely not for me just because, um, it would require me to eat a lot of animal products, but you know, if that works for you, do it. Like 
cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, but let's, so let's get into it. So Sunday, I treat as my cheat day, which means I can eat whatever I want. So, you know, to most people you think, oh, well, so then you can eat meat those days. And I generally don't, just because it's a personal preference, but if you wanted to, you know, try to eat less meat but only do it on Sundays, if that's what works for you, awesome. So, during the week, I will, you know, plan out my meals. Usually I'll make, you know, batches of a couple things to alternate. You know, I'll have one thing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the other thing Tuesday, Thursday. So that's usually what I will do. And I will say also, I used to get Blue Apron and that meal kit made it so easy to meal prep because they would send you two different meals. This is not sponsored by the way. They would send you two different meals. So I would just, you know, flip flop which ones I would eat for lunch each day. And it worked out beautifully. Um, however, even when I, you know, I'm doing my own meal prep and making my own stuff, I can do that. So I, you know, am mindful of what I'm eating during the week. I plan it. I, you know, don't just eat whatever. And that's just my personal preference. Then Saturdays, you know, are the same thing. I'm just usually not working on Saturdays. So I am still, you know, thinking about what I'm eating, but I just don't usually plan it out unless I have extra, you know, servings left over and can just toss it together for my Saturday meals. But Sunday, girl, it is sometimes epic cheat day, usually not that bad. But one of my most recent discoveries of a favorite meal to have on Sundays is the Beyond Burger from Carl's Jr. Because there's a Carl's Jr. very close to me. And it is an awesome treat yourself on Sunday cheat meal. So... It's made with a Beyond Burger patty. They also have regular burgers, so if that's what you want to do, do your thing. And so I get it with no cheese and no mayo because here's an unpopular opinion. Mayo is disgusting no matter what. I would even argue pasta salad, mm, probably could do without it. I, <laughs> I hate mayonnaise as is and I don't... I'm not a particular fan of American cheese either, so, you know, just my personal thing. I don't get those things on it, also because that it goes against what I usually eat. So, I get it like that, bring it home, put some green chili on it, because I'm from New Mexico, and then put on some mustard and call it good. And so usually I'll get that. Um, football season, I will say, is like the best time to get that. So when they brought it to... The Carl's Jr. locations near me, I was like, yes, this is going to make football Sundays even better. So that's number one. Number two, I would say is probably pizza is like everyone's, you know, obvious thought for like a cheat meal or, you know, like just being bad. And so I am a Papa John's fan, not just because it's like the closest pizza place to me but because I feel like their crust is the best so generally I will just get all the other toppings on it without cheese and then put my own or you know rarely I will get it with cheese on it just because that's how I like it I usually will get a large thin crust with mushroom bell pepper and onion because that is the best combo although sometimes you know just like peppers and tomatoes on like a regular crust is good but usually I go for the thin crust because I like it a little crispy but sometimes I just want all the carbs and so I get regular crust <sighs> number three which is like not really a cheat meal but it is something that I will get because the other thing I should mention is that I consider this to be like cheat meal stuff because I make my own food during the week uh, including Saturday I don't like buy dinner, eat out during the week at all because that is po. But also just because I feel like it would cost so much more to do that than to make my own food. So that's why I spend my Sundays making all the meals for the week so that I don't get it to a point where I'm like, okay, I don't have lunch or dinner for these days. I need to go get something because it just costs a lot more money that I am not willing to spend, even though I love food. So the third one I'll say 
is um, from my favorite pho place. I will get their vegetable pho with tofu and vegetables. And they put, I think, like broccoli, bok choy, carrots, and onion. And it is so good. I get it with the vegetable broth. And yeah, sometimes I'll drive over to go get it because it's not too far. But um, if I'm feeling particularly lazy, I will just order it because, you know, that's always the way to go too. So yeah, uh, pho, pizza, burger. Oh, I do get fries with my burger because if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do it. Uh, but only once a week. You know, there are other days I try my best not to eat anything fried or, you know, like super unhealthy type stuff. But if it's Sunday, give me them fries, girl. I want them. Uh, let's see what else. Um, and I think the last thing, which is actually probably my favorite, but uh, it's um, not that it's more expensive. It's just the furthest away. So it's not always like the thing that I think to get is there's a restaurant in LA called Something Vegan. It is awesome. I will say though that like some of their stuff is not like amazing, but I have tried many a vegan wing here in LA. And I can honestly say, I think they have the best ones. I don't know how they make it. I don't know what they do. It like comes on a little wooden drumstick, but it's just so like meaty and juicy. And then they use like an, uh, like, I think they call it like a sweet and sour sauce on it. It's like spicy, but like citrusy and like just delicious. And I might actually get it today now that I'm talking about it because it's so good. But yeah, it is so good like they're so their wings I'm basically trying to say something vegans wings are the best vegan wings in LA and so you know sometimes I'll like get those and then um Daya or Daya makes um a vegan blue cheese so you know you can use that or I think they make like a ranch kind of dressing or something that they have with them when you order them so you can use that or you know sometimes what I'll do if I don't feel like ordering that is um, Trader Joe's makes tempura cauliflower but it doesn't come with the sauce on it so what I like to do is like an insider secret here I will take the cauliflower bake it in the oven like you're supposed to and instead of putting like the Kung Pao sauce I think it is that comes with it I put buffalo sauce so it becomes buffalo cauliflower and then I use that vegan blue cheese and it's A1. So very delicious. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, and you know, keep in mind, this isn't, you know, the kind of stuff that I eat regularly. This is like a once a week type of thing where if I'm feeling, you know, like just having a little treat, I will have it. There is really an entire separate video that I could make on like dessert type things that I like to have for cheat meal. But I think I'll just, you know, save that for another video because this one's already getting kind of long. But yeah, I, um, I'm so thankful to have been doing this for a year now to kind of, you know, tie it all in together. And yeah, um, so I'm gonna go <laughs> shovel food into my face uh, because I can and it's my Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great lazy Sunday. I know I've said it a million times, but happy anniversary. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna finish this coffee because my head's starting to feel better. And yeah, I will see you guys next weekend. And I'm gonna have more than one of these next weekend because I got an idea for a video that I've been wanting to make and I'm gonna do it and I'm very excited because I think it's gonna be fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next weekend. I love you and yeah. Bye!